Hello everyone. Hello. We are in La Morra at Tredi Berry Winery with Nicola and Stefania. It's one of our favorite wineries. Uh, also, they're beautiful people and we just selected them for our wine club. So we can't wait to show you what they're all about. My dad once came at home and said, "Hey guys, I found a, a vineyard, uh, so we can uh, we can start thinking about uh, uh, setting up a winery." And then we, I said, my mom and I said, "Well, cool." And uh, this is where everything started. But then you know, uh, we are really young, so we cannot show off some. Uh, uh, big flags, some horses uh, on, the, on our symbol. We don't have any lost symbol, we don't have any old symbol. We are really young. And through our wines, what we can do is just to, do, to picture the present we, uh, we are facing, we are experiencing. At the end of the day, in a nutshell, we don't do any, oper any surgery. Uh, we just do some bloody wine. So if it's good, it's better. If it's bad, guys, I did my best. So this is the, the sense of humor, the sense of being of Teddy Berry. Teddy Berry means three guys from Berry. Okay. Uh, what's, what's Berry? Berry is a, is a crew, is a vineyard mm -hmm. in the farthest, in the western area of La Mora, where we bought uh, 12 and a half acres. Uh, around 2006 and 7, and then we planted the Nebbiolo there. Three is my dad, I, and a business angel. Okay. Because at the time, my dad and I, we, we, weren't, we didn't have enough money to, to afford it, and so we asked our home neighbor to, to join the project. Okay. So, Tredi Berry, the three of from Berry. Uh, we are walking in your vineyards. In Rocca de Anunziati, yeah, Rocca this is the real core, yeah, this is the real core of the, of the winery. And luckily this year has been, uh, it has been a really, really affected by frost. As you can see, all the small, all the small buds that, uh, that now are not uh, growing. These, these are frost uh, uh, killed by, not killed, the, the shoots have been killed by frost. Tell me about your uh, farming practices. Mm -hmm. what, what, maybe don't tell me everything about the farming practices, but tell me what makes your approach to farming very modern and maybe no. very interesting from a sustainability perspective. No, but no, we have been certified organic since the beginning, since 2010, and we stopped last year because I really got pissed off uh, of the of the new rules about copper that uh, the EU decided to, to apply. Uh, you know, I'm not dealing cocaine, I'm dealing copper. And instead the EU was, uh, was thinking that uh, I was dealing uh, with weapons, so. Um, but on the other side, uh, um, actually, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing anything special. The only thing we try to achieve is to get the the, the latest possible harvest with the lowest pH possible. This is the the big thing we try to achieve. Which is, I know, it sounds quite because strange. Because you want drinkable wines. Uh, actually, I want uh, length with pH, length mm -hmm. with uh, length with freshness, yeah. which is uh, usually is uh, the one that makes you make a. Mm -hmm. Where do you see Tredi Berri in, let's say, 20 years? I see me in Laos uh, with a backpack with my wife, uh, having sold uh, all the wines for that year and having time to have a holiday. So that's 2019, uh, Barolo from Berry. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs> what makes a wine drinkable? A wine is drinkable 
Actually, what is a really difficult task? How is really easy? How to define it is when, when the battle is finished. What makes it drinkable, uh, I think, is the, is the balance, over, is the overall balance. Uh, you can have uh, very light wines that are really drinkable, very bold wines that are really drinkable. The issue is that there must be always a sort of a consistency throughout the, uh, the experience in your mouth and your nose that you are, that you are facing, meaning I usually um, draw a line about, the, about my wines. I mean, this is how I taste. And for me, it must be a, a, a raising line. Okay. Uh, if you have some holes, some drops on this line, for me, that wine is lacking some balance. The best wines for me are the wines that any moment in your, the nose is, is good, and then the mouth follows the nose, and then the mid palate follows the entrance of the mouth, and then the end, the tannins, follows the mid palate. What's more important uh, in your philosophy, the vineyard or the cellar? Both. I, um, the problem is this, both are really important. The issue is chronologically, vineyard comes first. So, grapes must be good, great, of course, but it's not given that that and wine will be great. Then, of course, uh, what you, the decision you have taken in the vineyards will influence and will affect your style. Uh, this is one of the, of the biggest mistakes people, communication, in my opinion, have done in the past. Uh, by just in identifying one or two steps for, for describing a wine. Uh, first, it was the, the green harvest. Then became the wood, the oak. Then became the maceration. Then became uh, the, uh, the thyme in oak. Uh, east, now everybody wants to know East. I mean, uh, everything is part of, uh, of the game. And that's why wine is so difficult to do. It's really easy, it's really immediate, but it's also very difficult to investigate and to improve because it's surely given, driven by so many variables. Yes, um, about the labels, actually, uh, as we are a really young winery, we don't, we don't own, we are not noble, uh, we are not uh, lords or something, so we couldn't uh, put on our label a sort of a family uh, image. So I decided to, because I love color, I decided to use um, the, the pictures, the paintings of a, of a painter from uh, La Mora called Pier Fiavo Gallina. I know it's not really typical to have this kind of, uh, of label, but uh, you know, I don't believe, uh, uh, I think it's much more true to have a label like this than having a, a fake uh, uh, horse or a, a cannon on the, uh, on the, on the label. So these are mm. Pizzoccheri from Valtellina. Made in Piedmont. Made in Piemonte by Freddy Berry. Thank you. Buon appetito. Oh. Buon appetito. Oh. Very good, eh? Buon appetito, eh? Mm. Oh. Very good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and Syrah from America. Bravo, Stefano, complimento. Mm. Not to you. Wow. Oh.